Hey, what up, Ty822 here to review WWE Raw. So Raw opened up with Paul Heyman and Brock Lesnar talking about last night's SummerSlam, how Brock Lesnar beat the hell out of Triple H. You know, he's talking about Brock Lesnar. He is the man of the WWE. They called out the referee that ref the match between Brock and Triple H. Brock told him, well done. Then after that, they just left. Then, you know, Brock Lesnar quit the WWE, but we all know he'd be back anyway. You know, we all know. A lot of marks are like, oh my god, I can't believe he did it. Like, y'all fall for that shit? We all marks now. Y'all still fall for that shit. Makes no sense, man. Kobe Kingston, R. True, Sin Cara, the primetime players, versus Cody Rhodes. This match was alright. True, Kofi, Sin Cara get the victory. I love you, my orange soldier. Robert defeated, you know, some jobbers. No surprise by this. And um, this, like, the, the ghetto type orange soldier. Like, no sun kiss, you know. Well, the name called American Choice. I don't think you call them ghetto when it goes by the first name of America or soda. So I take that back. Maybe it's not a ghetto soda. Maybe it's actually a popular brand. So I'm sorry, my American folks. It's not a ghetto soda. A virtual Del Rio versus Randy Orton. This match was boring to me. Of course, Orton went over. Brodus Clay versus um, Damian Sendow. Uh, match is nothing. Sendow got the victory after the match was over. Um, Sendow got his ass beat by Brodus Clay. But you know, this feud could be good, but it's really for Sendow because you know he's more of a serious character, unlike Brodus Clay. So we all know who's gonna go over in this feud. HBK, you know, was an interview, uh, talking about the thing with Triple H, you know, felt Triple H pain. The HBK, man, he sold this so well, man. He sold it very, very well with injury. And, you know, he didn't smile. He looked very sad. And, you know, a lot of people were talking about, hey, what about Sean Wright, who was versus Brock Lesnar at Survivor Series? I, I like to see that right there. I know a lot of fans are like, oh, man, I hope he keeps his word. Who cares if he keeps his word about retirement? Boxers and other athletes, they come out of retirement. But the fans never say, oh, man, pfft. I hope he don't come back. There's always wrestling fans. I mean, there's always wrestling fans. I hope he don't come back. We're going to other sports. You know, fans never say, man, why are you coming back? It's always a wrestling fan. Sean Biden's going to come back if he wants to because he still got it. I don't care about his word. I am a Sean Michael fan. I would love to see HBK come back. David Otunga, Mr. Bowtie Swag, like my homie Bacardi would call him, versus the Big Show. This was a squash match. The Big Show gets the victory. King, Zack Ryder teams up against The Miz and Daniel Bryan. It's a no contest. Once again, King buries Zack Ryder again. Rest in peace to Zack Ryder. Again. Divas Battle Royal, you match. Caitlyn won. That surprised me. You know, that really surprised me. I didn't care about the match. But, you know, Layla is the baby face. So, is Layla going to turn... Hill, or you can be a face face, or Caitlyn Chan Hill. But I was very surprised by the winner of the Divas Battle Royal. I was expecting E. Torres to eliminate Caitlyn, but Caitlyn eliminated E. Torres. Why to J versus uh, Dolph Ziggler? He said if Dolph Ziggler beats Jericho, Jericho, you know he's going with contract. If Jericho beats Ziggler, he gets the money in the briefcase. Now everybody know Chris Jericho. Last night on Raw, we knew he was going away. So, of course, Ziggler got the win. But I expected more from Jericho last night on Raw in a match with Ziggler. I expected more because Jericho, I thought he would go out with a bang, but he really didn't. After the match was over, Ziggler is celebrating, you know, showing off. Jericho takes the briefcase, hits him in the back with it, then the um, cold breaker. So, Jericho on break again. Toro Fawzi. He should be back around the Royal Rumble. I won't be surprised if Jericho be back at the Royal Rumble. That's the right time for Jericho to return to the Royal Rumble. And maybe, you know, Dolph Ziggler be a champion by that time. And maybe they might have a world title match. I'd love to see that. Maybe a, you know, title match in February probably. I'd be cool with that. Sam Punk, uh, John Cena, you know, they had a good segment. And Punk was like, 
you will be the number one contender, but I want you to say you respect me. I'm the best in the world. And Cena said, I will not say you the best in the world. You know, he's kissing up to the Fresno State crowd ass. I mean, talking about the football team. Yo, if they if they team don't win a national championship, they won't want to trade on a team. First of all, Fresno State got no chance in hell competing for a national championship any time soon. John Cena, he kissed up the Fresno State fans. Man, please, that team's garbage. They got no shot at a championship. But, you know, Cena was good right here, and he told Paul, hey, I'm not going to call you the best in the world, but I believe my ability. If I get this opportunity to face you in my hometown of Boston at Nine of Champions, I will beat you. He left out the ranks. Paul said, yeah, I interrupted again. Went to the Jerry Kane Lawler and told Jerry Kane Lawler, hey, I did not turn my back on WWE Universe. Kane tried to explain himself to um, Sam Punk. Turn around, Sam Punk kicked him in the head. Crowd booed him, but I don't, I don't say like he's a full hill yet. Like, who cares about Jerry the King Lawler these days? And everybody on Twitter was like, yes, finally he kicked, um, he kicked uh, Jerry King Lawler. Everybody was happy. The whole world was happy because we all annoyed of Jerry the King Lawler. So you know, this wall. It was solid, solid raw, best raw in a long time. So don't forget, hit the subscribe button. I am out. Peace.